And my next guest is a two-time Chopped Champion winner and host of Snapchat's first ever cooking show, Chopped You. He was also the breakout star at this year's Met Gala as one of 10 up-and-coming diverse chefs picked by none other than Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Winter herself to serve his soul food plant-based creations. Stars like Serena Williams, Alicia Keys, and Congresswoman AOC all enjoyed Lazarus Lynch's creations, also known as the son of a Southern chef. He's not only an acclaimed chef, he's a singer and musician who will debut his first album, Sanctuary, next month. Please welcome Chef and entertainer extraordinaire Lazarus Lynch. Lazarus, thank you. You are so busy singing and with the chop you. And this, though, is the time to take a moment and say what we're grateful for. That's right. Where's your gratitude heart today? What are Ooh. you grateful for? Well, I'm gonna sing my praise. I am grateful, Tammy, for all the blessings in my life. Oh, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. And this Thanksgiving, I'm gonna be grateful for all the blessings in my life. in church and giving grace. Thank you so much. You know. That's beautiful. I mean, your, yeah. your gift of song, your gift of preparing these meals, where did that come from? What, what, what is your history that made it so rich? Well, I just gotta say, it's so nice to be in the studio again. Isn't it nice? With a beautiful audience. <laughs> and Tamron, I must thank you and your team who are wonderful. Everyone treated me so well. But you know, it started out just growing up in a, in a black family, you know, growing up with mom and dad. My dad was from Alabama, mom from Guyana, from South America. Yeah. And this blend of culture, wow. this blend of food, of history. And if anything, if we learned anything last year from the pandemic, we learned how to be present. Yeah. We learned how to be in the moment because yeah. Life is going, life is quick. Yeah, it goes so fast. And, and you lose yeah. your memories. And this, this recipe today that you're making from your cookbook, Son of a Southern Chef, um, is from the heart. You say it's a love letter to the family recipes and your love of cooking. Tell me about this cake, because I'm so excited to make it. Well, I've dubbed this cake. It was known as the lemon cake growing up, but I've dubbed it, you ready? The church hat lemon cake. The church hat <laughs> lemon cake. I Okay, I mean, where, where do we start with okay. this? So we're gonna start with our shortening, okay? Some yeah. Fat. I love calling it fat. It's just some shortening, vegetable shortening, okay. butter, mm -hmm. right? We get that on a medium speed. Okay. All right. Now, growing up, I grew up in the church, and there was always after service, yeah. you know, this opportunity to have a piece of cake. Yes. And everybody Waiting wanted for you a piece as of cake. you on a little paper plate. Yes. Grab it as you go. Yeah, I love sometimes that. wrap, sometimes not. That. And everybody couldn't make the cakes. All right? Only a couple of people could make the cakes. And so you can make the cake. Well, I learned how to make it from watching the mothers in the church, uh, the elderly people. They made this recipe. My grandmother, who I never knew, never got a chance to meet, but I learned about her food through my dad's hands. Uh, and it was a transfer of oh recipes gosh. and knowledge through his hands to my hands and now through to a book to millions of people. I love this. It's beautiful. All right, okay. so you're going to take me to the recipe. We got five eggs, right? Five eggs. One Don't, at a time. One at a time. They're large eggs. Tamara, do you like to bake? I, I like to eat, but yes, I do <laughs> bake. I love, I actually do bake. My father, to your point about your rich history, my father who passed away right mm. when I moved to New York, mm. um, one of the last bonding moments we had was him walking me through his sweet potato pie over the phone. Wow. And over I made the, oh. over the phone. That was our last Thanksgiving wow. together. So um, it is a, definitely a part of my memories and my love. Absolutely. And that's why I love this recipe. So you have your vanilla in here. We got our vanilla. All right, we, you know, y'all, we on TV, all right? Uh, Everything go. just goes in. Yeah. The recipes are in the book. Also on the website. Right, so we just got it all in here. So we just have- Just put it all in there. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. All right. All right. Telling me what to do. I have half the cream here. Okay, some cream goes in, just a little bit of cream. Okay. Now obviously there's like, in baking, we have like baking methods where you do all the dry ingredients, all yeah. the wet ingredients. You don't wanna over mix your cake or your don't batter. Don't want to, okay. Cause then it'll be tough. 
Now I have the lemon here. I, I told you earlier, anything with lemon I love. Oh, I anything. love lemon. I love Freshly lemon. Freshly squeezed lemon. Look, we gotta use the real lemon. Lemon, okay? oh, and what are you doing there? Oh, I'm sifting some flour. Hello, okay. flour. We got some baking soda and some salt. Use the table salt. Try to okay. use something without iodine. Uh, a nice fine kosher is really good okay. for baking. Now, you know, you talked about your father. My father passed away in 2015. Mm. And, you know, there's not a day go by that I don't think of him. And one of the amazing things about food is that we get to remember those we love. Through our right? food. Through our food. Mm -hmm. And what's also amazing is, you know, Thanksgiving is not just a time, you know, it can be so stressful. As much as we all love it, let's be real, y'all. It's always like, who's coming over? How many people coming over? Who's gonna make what? And I think that we can all just take a moment to be still, to make something that's delicious, yeah. to make it a little easier on ourselves. You know, I think we can have Thanksgiving every day. I agree. I every agree. day. There's no, you know what? I'm going to let you finish off. So you, you have, gonna let me finish? Yes. Okay. Lord have mercy. Try. So a little bit of the flour goes in. We're okay. going to do like about half. Uh huh. Oh, Lord, I'm making a whole mess here. That's okay. Listen, one of the things I tell people, this show is not a cooking show. I love right. to cook, yeah. but I don't let perfection get in the way of good. That's and right. this is going to be delicious. And this is how I cook at home. I'm just being honest. Carla Hall was on earlier. You, I love Rocco, Carla. you guys are all amazing chefs. But I wanted the spirit of our cooking. Thank you. You know, I wanted the spirit of the cooking on this show yeah. to really reflect my home because the Tan Fam is my home and I would love to have you all over, but my husband's not ready for that. <laughs> so this is our home right now. Right. And this is how I cook at home. I talk to my friends, I yeah. pour ingredients, I sometimes have to look at the recipe again. This recipe, by the way, will be on Tamron Hall's Tam I am Tamron Hall, the Tamron Hall Show website. Yes, it will. Um, to find out more about it. So you're mixing up the dry ingredients in here. Mixing that up. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna just clear all of this. You know, Tamron, I was at the, the Met Gala this year. No big deal. <laughs> Met Gala. And you know what's so interesting? It's like, I'm sitting at the table with Alicia Keys. I love her. Jennifer Hudson pulled me by my arm. She said, you gotta sit next to me. Aww. And I mean, it's just one of those things where you realize that we're all just people. You know, we're all just trying to make it through life. Well, let me, let me keep it real. We're all just people, but we didn't all get that invitation. All right. So let's, okay, let's, let's, <laughs> listen. We're all just people, but you are there because you've made incredible strides in what you do, and they wanted to celebrate your cooking. I love this. So we have the batter. You have this beautiful bunt cake that we're pouring the batter in. Yes. How long do you bake it for? 325, like an hour, 15 minutes. I love that. Okay, okay really so I can easy. do other things. So once it's done, and I have one here. Okay, you want to give it a little tap. Tap, you know? tap. Tap, tap. Make sure it's all the way cool before you do that. Otherwise. Yeah. It won't be as pretty. It is beautiful. I okay. love it. And so the glaze here, what's the secret Let's to the glaze? Let's talk to the glaze. You know, a glaze is really simple. I love doing just some lemon juice. Okay. Some confectioner sugar, powder sugar. Mm. Okay, a little bit. And so goes we have about way. four to five tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. That's right. All right. And just mix it, mix it, mix it. Mm. I All right. put way too much lemon juice, but I love lemon. I love lemon. You know, what's, what's really interesting about this cake is a lot of people who don't love lemon, when they taste this cake, they're just like, it's just enough just lemon. Just enough. Mm. Just enough. Okay. You know, make sure you go I just know. a little bit. <laughs> now, you sang us into the segment earlier. You got this album, Sanctuary. Uh, What's the inspiration behind it? You know, the inspiration behind Sanctuary was I didn't actually know I was writing an album. I just sort of started writing songs. After I wrote my cookbook, I just felt like I needed to express differently. Mm -hmm. And so I just started writing music, and I would put up the piano and really Holy Spirit just gave me songs. Oh my gosh. And uh, so what this album really means to me, it's a very personal album. It mm -hmm. really talks about my journey, going through our journey. Everybody's got a story. Yes, they do. Everyone's got a path and mm -hmm. a purpose. And I had to sit down and realize that the creator had a purpose for my life. Aww. And what this album, <laughs> So what the album is, is really just sort of my awakening to yeah. that, my understanding of that. And Your also sanctuary. encouraging Your of everyone to create their own sanctuary, mm. whatever that looks like. All right, well, we're gonna find the purpose in this cake. I come need on. this. All right, how do I, so I just glaze it just over? Just glaze the cake, you know? All it's right. just like, oh, come on. Mmm, how beautiful. <laughs> and there's no right or wrong way, just layer it on. And you, oh, this looks delicious. You garnish your cake with I sure do. Um, these beautiful, what is this, mint here? So we got mint leaves. And again, as I said, this is much like my home. 
where suddenly I don't have a plate or anything. So this is, ahead, welcome girl. to what really happens behind the scenes at my house. When I was a child, I would dig my hand in the cake. Oh my God. But we've grown up and learned a few things. Listen. <laughs> Lazarus, this is Southern. This is soulful. This is family. This cake tastes like family. Yes. It's amazing. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. We appreciate you. We're grateful you came by here today. Lazarus debut album, Sanctuary, launches December 3rd on streaming platforms everywhere.